Hello and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Continuing my series of notums, we are going to look at some specific notums at Bozeman, Montana because of some construction that is going on. And I know if you just were watching my series on notums, I did different construction notums for my home airport, East X Regional, but the Bozeman construction is it also affecting procedural notums and that is gonna be the main focus of this video. So I've gone on the FAA NOTAM search. I'll put a link in the video description so you, you can follow along if you'd like to. Um, but when I pull up that search, I'm going to sort it by clicking class and we'll sort it so all my procedural NOTAMs are at the top. Okay, so a couple procedural NOTAMs have to do with the stars into the Bozeman area. That basically, if I look at one, it just says it's it's not available. That's pretty simple. But what I would like to look at specifically is this procedural notum here that has come out and we can check out what is going on here in Bozeman, Montana. We have the instrument approach procedure is what it's going to affect and the name of the airport, Bozeman Yellowstone International, Bozeman, Montana. Okay. It affects the RNF, RNP Zulu runway 12 amendment 1A. And it says for the RNP point one DA, so that's my decision altitude, has been changed to 4,750 feet. Height above touchdown is 307 feet. So it has a new decision altitude. And that is for all categories. So categories A, B, C, D, and even E, that is changed. And then they tell me why. So in a second, I'm going to go over to the instrument approach chart and take a look at this. But the reason is there are temporary cranes that are happening and they are apparently at 4,624 feet above sea level. And they are in the first beginning part of runway one, two. Okay, so um, then we have the date reading. So that is happening starting on, it was March 10, 2025 at 1219 Zulu. And it's supposed to be continuing until apparently May 21 of 2025 at 1219 Zulu because this EST stands for estimated. So they're not really sure when they're going to be done with the actual procedures. Okay, now let me look at the actual approach. So here we have Bozeman, Montana. Let's actually pull up the, it was for the RNP Zulu to runway 12. All right, so let's look at that approach itself and you can see here that the RNP point one DA used to be 4723. So this notum raises it to 4750. The height above touchdown you can see it was 280 and it has been raised to 307. So they basically added 27 feet Yes, which would make sense when you do the math there with now the height above touchdown is 307 for all categories. Notice A, B, C, D. Okay, so that's a change that is important for us to note if we are flying that type of approach. Going back to the results, um, some other important information. Now, this is a NAVAID notum for Bozeman, but we also notice the ILS for runway 12 is not available Monday through Friday from 2100 till 0500. Again, that is in UTC, okay? So when I look at available approaches for Bozeman, that takes out the ILS for a good part of each day. I do have a couple approaches. I have the RNP Zulu and the, the RNAV GPS Yankee to that runway. I have runway 12, right? Or 12, a VOR approach, but Again, be careful, going back to my results, what is all going on here? If I carefully read down through all this information, we see that some other important things are going on. Runway 1230 is closed, except National Guard and air carriers. One hour prior permission required. So that's that same time where they're doing the work on the runway. So you cannot just come in and land any old time. And... Runway 11G and 29G is also closed. Similar thing, which is actually a grass runway. All right, so 
that is just a very quick overview of procedural notams. Notice I've got those sorted at the top, but when you're going into an airport, besides just reading procedural, of course, we want to look at the other things that are going on there. And with all this construction going on, various runways being closed, various things not being available, various uh, ILS, whole system is not available. It's only a nav aid outage. Notice it doesn't have any procedural change, but I cannot plan to fly the ILS if it is not in service. Notice here it is frequently not in service depending on what time of day that I'm trying to come in to the airport. And if I scroll way down, yeah, it's a whole top of all kinds of things out of not available, uh, not standard writing, uh, lighting systems all over that airport. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what else you want to see about notums in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I try to read and respond to all the comments. Have a great day.